1170, contact departure. Husky 1170, good day. This 110, wind 2706, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff. This 110, clear for takeoff, 3 left. Give me a break. That's our last at 1315, first to a left. Also 1315, point As you can tell, I'm a little salty about the uh, United decision. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Honestly, I just like doing this. I mean, if they won't let me dispatch. You're literally right on top of the runway. And also the, um, what do you call this? The ramp. The gates. United uh, 26, correction, United 1632, runway 28 left, 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 left. Now, for those who aren't familiar, Portland is a big Alaska hub. We got the classic uh, Southwest livery, uh, the uh, the Herb Kelleher special. Very exciting. Downtown Portland. I can't see it too well. I'm kind of focused. I got both hands working. <laughs> they have the north runway closed, so all the action is going to be coming on this runway. So this will be a jam-packed evening and time for Salt Lake, or not Salt Lake, for Portland International. So very exciting stuff. Edwin Daniel. <laughs> Casey did lose to Detroit. Yeah, I watched that game. They did not look sharp, especially without uh, their their man, Travis Kelsey. The whole wide receiver by committee thing uh, definitely uh, is sketchy. Jordan, uh, Jordan Love, he went to uh, Utah State. Yep, good old U Utah State. Challenger 350 arrival here.
like we get a Primair 767 getting ready to depart here from Portland. Randy, hello, hello. Greetings from uh, Portland to Omaha. So, yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, then uh, I hope uh, you get a chance to visit PDX here. It's great to plane spot. We're on the south side of the airport because the uh, other run. Sun's starting to come out. Spirit snuck in there first before that American. That's uh, Spirit 430 from Las Vegas that's just landing on the A319. Get back in a radio or do voiceover. So thank you very much. Also, the equipment does a good job with my voice too, so that definitely gets some credit as well. That's mighty kind of you to say. Prime Air 737. Oh, thank you very much for the like. Appreciate it and the support. Means a lot. Well, that didn't take any time at all. They must be empty. I always love an empty cargo carrier. Here comes Allegiant. Oh my gosh, that's the smoothest livery and arrival ever. Well done. Very cool. I agree. Another special livery coming up here from our E-175. Man, keep them coming. Oh, look at this, the old Continental. Or Alaska, excuse me. I made the uh, tail made me think Continental, but it was Alaska looking sharp on the E-175. From Portland International Airport in Portland, Oregon on the West Coast. Love me the ATR. Clive Barber, hey, hey. It has runway 28 left. It's the only runway in service here in Portland right now. And the north runway is closed. 
So that makes my job a little bit easier and you're watching more enjoyable because we have more action back there. American from Phoenix. But they've seen growth in traffic as well at Bend because it's uh, not too far from a uh, ski resort, but also um, just a beautiful area. And it's the, the is it Josh, is it pronounced the Deschutes River? I sure did. I drove up to uh, Portland from Boise yesterday. Right into your living room, folks. Gotta love it. Got to. Oh, nice, Josh. Yeah, Delta will get you here pretty easy. They've got a lot of destinations from here. That sun is uh, its giving me some love. heavy to me there that backside was uh, a lot of junk in the trunk <laughs> yeah I was hoping one of the F-18s was actually hanging out here but uh, they're all gone it looks like it's United inbound on their 737-900 here landing. So. That would make sense if you're going back east, Josh, because they'll make a right turn and head back east. But now with only one runway open right now, it's cool because we get to see all the action because the north runway is closed. Right on, the old 12s. Graveyard. Another Brazilian special, right, ERB? It's mostly cloudy, but the sun is actually coming out behind me, Jam Shed. So the weather is actually pretty good. Here's our 737-900 in from Salt Lake City. Maybe a little too close. Maybe I'll go up to the fifth level, which is a little bit further away. All right, 767 has gotten the okay to finally depart Prime Air, headed to Anchorage, Anchorage, Alaska.
arriving on 2A left to 737. Uh, these uh, British Airways, Daniel, parks on the other side of the terminal, the International Park. So, yeah, we wouldn't see them until they depart again. I encourage you, if you are new, encourage you to like and subscribe. That way you'll know when and where we're broadcasting next. I usually try and do a video to let people know when and where we're broadcasting from. Hey, 50 K9 Rocks. Thank you. Welcome in. We did it. Celebrate, I can go to bed. No, I'm just kidding. Great for your, great to have that support as we broadcast from Portland. Just a great airport, great people. Awesome to have you on board. It's got like a tint of gold there with the sunshine. Good night to you. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for the like. Next up departing, 737, Max. Headed back to Idaho Falls, close to where we were at yesterday. The Falls. Thanks so much for the like and tuning in. It's been awesome to have you guys on and for the support. Patelli Vision, Andy Taylor. I sure was when Bob the Badger departed the A321 Andy, one of our premium economy members. Uh, yes, United interview went well, but they did not offer me the job, Patelli. I actually found out today. Look at that, I had an extra battery anyways. Cincinnati, it's destination. Absolutely, Andy. Next up.